Hey, what's up? This is Ronnie, and I'm back. And I just wanted to talk about this whole Tamar Red... I can't pronounce her name, last name. Waka Flocka's wife of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So basically, she said uh, that uh, you're weak if you stay... I mean, you're weak. A woman is weak if she leaves her cheating husband. Um, she said that she wasn't trying to justify Waka's um, behavior, you know. But he didn't grow up with a father in the house and his mom was in the streets. Let me just say one motherfucking thing. <clears throat> At some point in life, we all have to start taking responsibility for the things that happen in our life. Now I completely understand that everybody's situation is not the same. It's some people out there who just had a fucked up life from the day that they were born. And no matter how much they tried to change it, they were always in some shit. Some shit is just out of your control. I completely understand that. But for those of us who can change things, we cannot keep blaming shit on the fact that what happened when we was a child. Baby, Waka Flocka is almost 30 or 30 years old. Baby, Waka Flocka disrespected you before you got married. He was cheating on you. And after you got married, he was cheating on you. That don't have nothing to do with his daddy not being in his life. That got to do with the fact that he's just a trifling ass nigga. That's what the fuck they got to do with. And really, truly, I can't even call him trifling. He shouldn't have just... He trifling. But he shouldn't have just got married. That's what it comes to. Walker, ain't nothing wrong with nobody out there wanting to fuck 15 bitches. Just be single when you do it. Stop getting in these relationships with these people. And then you still cheating on them. Tammy, stop making excuses for a grown-ass man. Your nigga is trifling. That's what it comes down to. He was cheating on you before you uh, said I do. He was cheating on you after you said I do. It does not make a woman weak if she decides to leave. It makes her actually strong as hell. Because it lets her, it, it puts it out there that I'm not dealing with no bullshit. Oh, I said that aggressive? Why was I so aggressive when I said that? Girl, you like my man. I act like my man just cheated on me. Ain't even got no man. Um, but that just means I'm not dealing with no bullshit. Now, I will say this much. Baby, back in the day, back in the day, back in the day, back in the day, if you told me your man cheated on you and you stayed, you was the dumbest bitch in the world to me. You were the dumbest bitch in the world. Baby, it was nothing you could tell me that was going to convince me you was not dumb as fuck. Now, the older I've gotten, honestly, I've changed. Not every situation. Not every situation. Tammy's a fool. Tammy's a fool. I can understand how you can be with somebody and it is hard to end the relationship because they cheated. Even more than once, probably. Certain situations, I would have to look at it individually, of course. Like, if you've been with somebody for 20 years and you just found out that they cheated on you twice, I can see how after 20 years of marriage, how it could be kind of hard to walk away from some shit like that. Like, damn, bitch, I've been with this motherfucker for 20 years and now I'm supposed to just start all over and just, like, end and shit. Like, I can see how that could be hard. But, baby, we've been married for two years. Girl, we're going to charge that shit to the motherfucking game. This is a wrap. It's done. It's over. Call it a day. Bitch, two years ain't shit. You know, I already know what I'm signing up for. To be with a fuck nigga. Like, no. Nah. Mm-mm. 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 I'm not going to do it. Um, so, yeah. All to me, the, it, it just comes down to Tammy is just making excuses for a grown-ass man. At the end of the day, we are all grown. We are all grown. We all have to start being held accountable for the shit that we do. Why for being a trifling ass nigga don't have nothing to do with his mama or nothing to do with no daddy being in the goddamn house. At this point in life, baby, Walk is trifling because Walk is trifling because he know for a fact that he can get over Tammy. And Tammy ain't gonna do shit but cry and take him back. This ain't the first time Walker cheated on Tammy. This ain't the second time. This ain't even the third time. Walker been cheating on Tammy since the beginning of their relationship. Now he's been cheating on them, cheating on her, cheating on them, her child included, cheating on his whole family since the start of their marriage. Girl, Tammy, if you, let me just say something for people out there who want to stay with a cheating person. If you want to stay with a cheater, that's fine. That's your business. Don't tell me because after, if you Tammy, I'm going to call you dumb. If Tammy had been with Walker for 10 years, 15 years, and she found out her man was cheating on her, okay, girl, I can see how you could probably stay. But don't be out here making excuses for your per the person who you decide to be with. 
I understand that Tammy is in a spotlight where sometimes people are going to ask her questions, but that just comes with it. Didn't nobody force Tammy to be on Love and Hip Hop? When y'all signed up to be on these reality shows, you need to be happy that we watch you. We doing y'all a favor. We put money into your check. We talking about you. So really, truly, girl. Anyway, what it comes down to is, at the end of the day, if Tammy just would have been like, you know what? I love my husband. I'm hoping that he's going to change. Hopefully he will. And we're going to work through it. I would have been fine with that. But for you to come out with this bullshit talking about women a week if you leave your husband and he ain't had no daddy and his mom was in the streets and he ain't had nobody to teach him how to be a man is bullshit to me. <laughs>